We're gonna be taking a look at the seven cordless power tools that every electrician should have. These are like pretty much non-negotiable. We'll start with the most common, build our way up, and I'll share my experiences because I feel like some of these tools could probably make some of your lives a little bit easier. Clearly, I'm a Milwaukee fanboy here, so go ahead and let me know in the comments what brand you're using or what brand you want to use if you're looking at getting into it. At the number one spot, we've got the drill. This is like one of the most used tools. Basically, any point in time when you need to put a hole through anything, this is the tool to use. Uh, you can put any sort of you know metal bit, wood bit, any type of hole saw in there to put a hole in just about anything. When we look at usages of this, I really prefer to use this uh, going through studs, wooden studs, or metal studs. And at the same time, I also really like to use this in panels with a specific type of carbide tipped drill bit. This is one tool that I don't really care for the 12 volt version of. There's some tools on this list that I really like the M12 version of it. I am not a fan of the M12 drill. It just doesn't have the kick that you need. This is one of the tools that you really have, it's got a lot of power behind it and the power is the thing that really makes it go. So when I'm looking at this, this is like one of the only tools that I'm like, you gotta go 18 volt, especially for professional use. Fuel is their brushless line. I think if you are a professional, you should have a brushless set of tools, whether that's Milwaukee or DeWalt. This is at the number one spot because it's probably one of the most commonly used uh, for most people. However, number two is probably the most commonly used for myself and they usually come together. It is the impact. It's got a quarter inch slot in it, so it takes a little quarter inch hex driver bit and you can get all types of bits. This is really the tool that I use the most. Uh, all my drill bits that I keep with me constantly, I have them so they can fit in this impact because I keep this in my bag. It just makes life a lot easier not having to switch from drill to impact sometimes. It doesn't work all the time because like this, this drill right here has a hammer mode, which makes it great for masonry. The M12 is really the one that I use the most. And I mean, I can use it for just about anything, even for, for some spade bits. It's not the greatest at that, but anything you need to tighten. It has a ratcheting feature, so you'll hear it when it starts buckling up, it'll hit and it'll uh, kind of go off while the, the drill is more of a constant speed. It's also a lot smaller than the drill. Form factor is a huge thing. It's a lot smaller. This one here's got four different settings. It's got one, two, three. Those are different torque settings, so it can basically work harder and then on the fourth one it's got a drill setting i don't really use that one too often but the first three you really do have to be careful because you will snap stuff off with this thing especially softer metal screws bolts nuts that type of thing but i use this thing i mean every single day all the time it's kind of a no-brainer coming in at number three we have a, the hacksaw now this is a handheld it's a single hand version of the sawzall it's a reciprocating saw for all of those of you who are not milwaukee people it's not just considered a sawzall it's a reciprocating saw you put a blade in the front here and it moves back and forth and it cuts things we use these all the time, especially in commercial work. You can use it to cut pipe, you can use it to cut uh, PVC. We cut constantly. That's why this is number three. I really like the M18 version of this one as well. The batteries last quite a while if you have the right size. I like the single hand, not the double hand because it's so much lighter and you're able to, you, you always end up cutting something above your head uh, and you don't wanna have to try to keep two hands because you usually end up holding one piece of it while you cut with the other and it just makes things makes life easier we like life easier i know you all do i do that's for sure number four is also a cutting tool but it's slightly less practical than the the hacksaw you can use the hacksaw outside of just commercial work or just electrical work however this bandsaw here is a little bit less uh, just practical for everyday use it cuts pipe so much better than anything else. This is the M18 version, the, the mid-size. It's not the biggest one. The biggest one's so heavy, but this size here, I think will go up to three and a half inch rigid. It will not do four inch. It's a game changer, it really is. This thing is a lot easier to use on the ground. However, the hacksaw is easier to use in the air. It's also more practical for things outside of work. While this is very limited to pretty much pipe um, or strut, this thing eats through unistrut, but that's why it's, it's number four because it's also slightly more expensive. I would consider that to be a more advanced than the hacksaw lighting. It does make life much easier. Sometimes you're set up in a specific spot or you don't wanna wear your hard hat or your 
uh, headlamp or whatever. These lights are great options. These are both M12. They do just provide a little bit of light. This one's got a magnet on the back. It's just cake. It's super easy to just throw up and it just sticks to whatever metal thing you can have around you. And then this one here is a tower light and it just stands up on its own. You can turn it, swivel it, makes life easy. Electricians end up working in the dark a lot. It just happens, like it's part of the job. We have the power off because we're working on something. These type of things just make that a little bit easier when you don't have to, when you can set something up and it's battery powered. You don't have to worry about running power from another room. You don't have to worry about doing all kinds of crazy stuff like that. You can just set it up wherever you're working. Number six, this one is actually uh, used quite often. It's a vacuum couple different reasons here. Number one is sucking string through pipe. All of you who run pipe know that it is the worst if you have a long run and you just have to push a fish tape through the whole thing, especially if it's incredibly long, especially for underground stuff. This thing right here, you just tie a, a little piece of a bag, plastic bag on the end of a string on one end and you go to the other end and you just suck it through with this thing. You're able to clean up your mess, which is really important if you're working in service and you have to do something in somebody's office or somewhere where people occupy. You don't have to leave a mess. You don't have to borrow their vacuum. You're able to just use a vacuum that's M18 or your battery platform. You're able to clean up your mess there. And you wanna stay nice and tidy and that way you can clean up as you go along. You don't have to make a big process to get an extension cord and do all that other terrible stuff, just terrible. Number seven, we have the oscillating tool. As you can see, I've got this one flipped around right now. This is an M12. Uh, they do make an M18 fuel, but this thing has gotten me out of a pinch more than once, especially for reworking PVC, it's fantastic. You can cut while it's wherever it is and it can be fastened still and you can just cut through and slip a coupling over it. If you wanna take off a coupling, you can cut vertical on the coupling and that way you can just pry it off with your screwdriver and it breaks the glue like that. Second thing is if you're doing rework boxes, it's very, very fast and efficient to cut drywall. That one's a no brainer if you're putting in a new outlet. Then the third thing, this is very rare, um, but like we had access to the back of a wall and we were trying not to damage the front of it, but we were putting in another panel. And so we actually used, I used this one right here to cut out the studs in the back, the metal studs where we were going so we could uh, retrofit it. So this thing right here is really great for retrofitting uh, different things a lot of rework and then this is a bonus uh we're gonna take a look this one is an sds very different shape it's a hammer drill an sds hammer drill and it is fantastic for concrete work especially if you're doing a lot of it driving ground rods or like larger scale concrete work where you're trying to put a pretty large size uh, bolt in the ground to fasten something these are the most used tools that we have in the electrical industry and probably i would say generally for the trades as well i would say they're the same across the board all very common things that you need and that you'll use almost on the daily 